Alright guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Okay, before we start, first of all, one thing you need to know is you need to draft out how your logo want to look like. Okay, so I already have the sketch here with me on my paper. So that is why you see me. I I outline how how model my logo. Okay. So first of all, we'll be working with shapes all through in this logo design. So let's get started. Click on your shape. Try to resize it. Okay. Then give it a radius of about 83. And the color should be black. Okay, make it black. Right, you accept it. Okay. Then just go ahead to the layer, lock it. Okay. So I won't be moving around while you are working. So make another shape this time around white just bring it here bring it here and give it a radius of about 65 65 65 then bring it yeah. Okay. Accept it. Now we've gotten the first one, which is the D. So what we need to do now is just bring in your just lock it as well. Then bring in another rectangle to cut it out. And I'll set it like this. So you can now mesh both together. Okay. Let's mesh everything together like this. Okay. Go back. Make use of yours. Erase color. Accept it like this. So we've gotten the first one year. Okay, to so accept it, then make a small rectangle, make it black. Make it black, then group it together with this small created rectangle so that the shape will appear well okay go back you lock it then lock it Bring in another rectangle, make it black. So 
so I'll give it a radius of 48 accept it make lock it okay and bring in another rectangle Let's cancel this. Let's fix this one first. Radius of forty two, forty two, fifty two, sorry. Let's cut it out the way we did earlier. Okay, just accept it there. So merge everything together. This, this. Maybe then we go to the bedroom. Then go to your soft eraser, a color, erase color. And here is it. So we've gotten to this extent now. So you make a lock of it. Just lock it as well. So what we need to do now, let's bring in the remaining ships. So bring in your ship here like this. Zoom it so that you make sure it's accurate. Okay. 
So it changed it to black. Okay. Sorry, I think we are making one big mistake now. Let me cut at this. On the first D, so we move again. to be black accept it I can just lock both can bring another rectangle
just zoom it to just kind of word both together to turn it to black remove this let's see if they have little Okay, so all you need to do now is to just kind of increase it a little bit. Just need to be careful so that your work will be neat. Okay. Take it up once more. Take it up once more. All right. Black as well. So zoom out, let's see. And here is our work. 
okay so now let's quickly good a white background white background sorry white background okay So this will be all for now. This will be all for now. Okay, let's kind of add in kind of make here. white. Yeah, wait. Make your wait. Make your wait. Make it white as well. Make it white as well. And finally, make it white. Okay, now turn the default background to black. All right. So just lock everything together. Okay, they are locked now. So just watch what I want to do. quickly remove background accept it and create literal make it black
what you do now yes let's bring it here bring this one Okay, so what you do just reduce the opacity. Capacity a little. All right, so this is the end of today's tutorial. See you guys in our next video. Bye. So before you can, you can just quickly save it. So save your work. Always ensure you make use of ultra and you save like this. So that's the end of the class. See you guys now next video. Bye.